All right, folks. We're doing another video over here. Today we're going to do something different. We're uh, not going to showcase a new tool or anything like that. We're going to actually fix a car. So uh, you might want to stick around. Alright, so here's the battery compartment. You simply uh, pull this cover off by pushing these little tabbies in here. This pops right off. Get rid of that. And then we got the battery. And there's a little door here to access the uh, positive terminal. And we got our negative terminal here. Now it looks like we're going to need a uh, 10 millimeter wrench to get these terminals off, so let's get one of those. Now this positive terminal seems like it's got a pretty decent amount of McPlebus on it. So we'll have to clean that up pretty good. Now this thing's got a lid on it here. You just pull this little tab. And there's another one somewhere. You just kind of open. There you go. Open up to expose this area, and we should be able to pull that off. Okay, now so this is the what the top of the battery looks like once you get this little lid open, and that's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, first thing you got to do is this thing here is tied onto a strap right here. And uh, this you gotta pry this off like so and get it out of the way. And the next thing we're gonna have to do in order to get this out of the way enough to get the battery out is uh, take this terminal loose and get that off of there. Because as you can see, this wire's gotta come out this way. And this rest of this has to kind of move out of the way this way so we can get this battery out of here. Okay. Okay, that was pretty tight. Alright, now we got that out of the way. Now we just gotta kinda take this piece off and lift it out of the way. And this is kind of a pain in the butt too. You kind of got to pry it out from the sides. There's little tabs underneath there, but they're kind of hard to get to. So, but they're not impossible. They're just nearly impossible. But once you get the one off, you can kind of work it over. Finagle it. A little bit of creative prying. There we go. Alright. Alright, now that we got this off, we can pull it out of the way. Plenty enough to get that battery out. So we'll leave that for now. And then all we got to do is loosen up the lug that's holding it in there. 
which is right here. Now that's a 13 also, but we're going to need an extension to get down in there. And we just give that a loosen. Okay, got that out. Now I should be able to just lift this right out with ease, like so. And like so, right back in with the new one. Hopefully like so. Like so. All right, and we just tighten up that lug down there. Give it a little tighten. All right, all snugged up. Now I just gotta pop this back on here. Hopefully. I'll probably pull these off of here first. that and we'll pop this on here like so and that just snaps right into place nice and tidy and I think we're gonna take and try to clean that up a little bit before we put that back on all right take a little wire brush here and try to Scrape some of the McClebus off of there. And off of the other side. I think we need a little bit of air. Now we'll stick this back on here, like so. All right, pop this on here. Pop that on there, snug her up, <clears throat> one grunt, all right. Kind of a lot of corrosion on here. I mean, there's not a real lot, but I just had this off not too long ago because uh, we had kind of the same problem, but these terminals were loose and they were really, really corroded. So I took them off and cleaned them up quite a bit, like a lot of bit, like they were perfect. And uh, now they've already got quite a bit of corrosion on there. So, not really sure what causes that. Oh, before I put that on, they also gave me some stuff at the auto parts store to put on there. Well, let's give that a little blow off first. All the crud out of there. Okay, this is what they gave me. To put on the terminals and the the uh, what have you it says apply light coat to pre-cleaned battery terminals posts and cables all right so I guess we're gonna do that as long as we're doing it we may as well do it 
you know what this is. Looks like it's just, uh, kind of just looks like dielectric silicone. I think that's what it is. All right, well, easy enough. Put that on there. Might as well do what they said. And maybe this will help prevent corrosion. And I actually have some more of this stuff. I didn't realize that's what this was. I haven't changed a battery in a long time and they don't, they've never given me this stuff before when I bought batteries. Of course this time I guess I need it. So, all right. That on there. Take our 10 millimeter socket. Tighten her up. Alright, feels pretty snug. Let's close this up. Held open with a bungee cord. Alright. Close that up, and we'll put the negative on, put some of this on here too, while we're at it, might as well put it all on there. We're going to get it on there nice and good. Tighten her up. Cover back on, which kind of just goes like so. Until it pops into place and stays on pretty good. And that is that. Now let's uh, see if she works. Success! Alright folks, well that was that. Here's the old battery. It's an AC Delco, so I assume this is the original battery from uh, 2013. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It says 2L13A44. I assume that's probably some kind of a date code. So we're assuming this is the original battery. There's almost almost a hundred thousand miles on a car. So I guess it was was about due and we're just coming into winter time, so even if it is something different, at least we got a new battery on the car now. Going into winter. Can't hurt. So and it's Four years old so all right folks that's about it I gotta go adios